Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a wonderful guest in studio today. It's Brian McDermott, and he is from Before College Consulting. Brian, tell me a little bit about your organization and, and how and why you got it all going. Sure. So just to give a little background on me uh -huh. and why I got started with it was I'm a two-time college transfer student myself. Uh, I started coaching juniors, uh, junior college volleyball when I was 19. So I was a volunteer assistant at Harper College in Palatine. Okay. Ended up doing two more years of Division Three NCAA college coaching, and then I was 25 and I landed a Division One coaching job. So wow, that's awesome. I thought this was what I wanted to do. I was going to do this as one of the younger coaches in the country. And the, one of the things you have to do when you're going to be a college coach is you have to recruit very well. Mm -hmm. And as someone that transferred twice myself, when I saw what coaches around me had to say to get kids to go to their schools, it's not necessarily that they don't tell the truth, but they're going to focus on only the finer points of schools. Mm -hmm. And as someone that transferred twice myself because of a lack of information, I just felt ethically uh, it wasn't the right fit for me. So I kind of went back home and flipped the script a little bit. So I started working with 11 to 18 year olds uh, coaching volleyball. And at one of my stops, I ended up being a college liaison. So I started working with families that were looking to play at college. And what I found was a lot of the information they were given was misinformation, and that was if they knew anything about the process at all. So I started my own company for volleyball five years ago to help anyone that was looking to play at the college level. And right off the bat, I started to get a lot of non-athletes referred to me because I created a process where the only thing that changed between a non-athlete and an athlete was that a non-athlete might not contact the volleyball coach when reaching out to the school. Maybe they talked to the head of their field of study. Mm. Maybe they talked to the admissions counselor. So once we saw and started doing some research on the statistics of what's going on with colleges and people that are going and enrolling and if they're finishing or not, uh, we started before college consulting about a year and a half ago with the goal of helping every single family find the best fit for them after high school at the best price. That's wonderful. And I like the fact that it's the best fit for them. Um, I think there's a lot of emphasis on keeping up with the Joneses, and there's a lot of other misleading or elephants in the room that we don't think about. Tell me some of those elephants that I need to think about. You're right. So, so here's kind of the uglier truth of college right now, but of all the kids that are enrolling in college, six years later, only 57% have a degree to show for it. The average amount of time it's taking kids to achieve their bachelor's degree is 4.8 years. So that means that more kids are taking five plus years to graduate versus four, and that comes with a half year price tag. The amount of student debt in the country right now is $1.5 trillion. It's more than credit card debt. And that bubble, to me, is looking a lot like the bubble that burst in 2007 with mortgages. So it's something that I think we have to get ahead of as quickly as possible. That's tremendously scary stats. And that last statement about a bubble bursting because families are struggling to pay that, especially if they have multiple children. What's, what's your, your, your take on that? What's your solution? How do you help with that? So the good news and what we're trying to, to get people to understand is it's never been easier for families to do the due diligence and research in colleges the same way you or I might buy a car or buy a home, right? So back you know, 10, 20 years ago, a lot of people were based their information based on letters and just what was being sent to them. Now there are free websites that families can really think about what's important to the student to you know whether it's their field of study, their geographic location, school size, class size, things like that. And they can find a list of schools right off the bat that match their criteria and what's important to them. And from there, teaching them how to reach out to those schools and build relationships. Because when you just apply blindly, we call the stealth applicant, you pay a sticker price. And when you pay the sticker price, you're most of the time leaving thousands of dollars on the table. Much of the debt that people take on is completely unnecessary. And a lot of the reasons, unfortunately, is just because they haven't been taught to do it. So once we get them to be able to understand how to research schools that directly fit their goals versus just looking for the schools that have the most prestigious name, that's when we can get kids to, to find a school that's going to help them without breaking their bank. So when they come in and they sit down with you, it's mom and dad and, and child. Exactly. And, and sometimes I got to be arbitrator. Sometimes mm -hmm. I got to play counselor, life coach. What we're really doing, I'm not here to push schools on kids or vice versa. The goal for me right off the bat, every single kid I've worked with is different. So I want to get to know them and what their goals are. I don't want to say what's the best school for you. I want to say, when you graduate college, do you have any idea of what you want to do? And at 18, it's okay if you have no idea, but we want to get the gears turning. If they're going to go to a four-year school, we want to make sure we know why they're going and that they're 
they're going to get their bang for the buck. You know, you don't want to take $100,000 out of loans if you're going to go into a career that might only start you at $30,000 a year. Uh, if you don't know what you want to do, we want to help you. There's great community colleges that can help you kind of get your feet wet. You can get your gen eds taken care of, and you can start thinking about what you want to do at the next level for pennies on the dollar. And in 2019, trade schools are a great opportunity for people that might want to go into an industry that doesn't require a college education. There's not a right or wrong path, like many people say. So our goal is to really get to know that individual and make sure whatever path we set them on is best for their goals and, and so that the dream school for them truly sets up their dream life. Would you say that the idea that you understand that not uh, every kid is different and not one size fits all, is that one of the things that sets you apart from your competition? Because there's a lot of college counseling services out there, but you're different, and how so? There's a lot of college databases, I would mm -hmm. almost call them, right? They, they ask the right questions, but they don't vet the answers. So you'll fill out a questionnaire that asks all the right things your field of study, but they're not asking about, have you gone and done an internship for it? Have you shadowed someone that's in that career? Have you, re you, know, have you done any research on someone that doesn't and ask them about you know the the dirty work as I would call it in the profession do you know what the entry-level salary is for someone that's going into that field those are things that should be considered and unfortunately I think a lot of those organizations especially the for-profit ones they're not concerned about what happens after you find a school their goal is to find you a school and then once you're committed there they can go on to the next kid and for us especially as someone that transferred twice myself I want to make sure that every single kid when they sign on the dotted line they know that they did everything they could this is exactly Exactly where they're going to be. So college isn't a stressful choice. It's something that they're truly excited for. Well, I, I think your background, having transferred twice and, and have kind of been a little bit in the in the tumble, if you would, really gives you a, a unique perspective. Is that why it seems so personal to you? Absolutely. And I want to make something clear. The first school I went to, I had friends that thrive there. And they worked mm -hmm. for corporate, for Amazon, for Oracle, for corporate State Farm. It wasn't the right fit for me. Right. The third school I went to that I was a straight-A student at, I did very well at, I had classmates that had a very similar experience to the first school I went to. So something that I think we don't talk about enough is, again, it's not we get caught up in the name of the school of being good or bad. It's really about the individual and teaching people to find the most compatible school for them. That's how we help people. Like right now, there's over 3,800 schools in the country, and most people have no idea that 99% of them exist. And a lot of those schools have a lot of money they want to give you to go there because they're not as well known. So helping families find those schools and find a place where when their kid goes there, they, they feel like, you know what, we're in a good place. That's my ultimate goal. That's awesome. Well, you are playing a very important role for, for families to not only get us their child to the right college, but even to help them make that choice. And it's a pivotal time, and oftentimes I think parents get too close, and sometimes we need that outside voice to have the knowledge and, and to play all those many roles that you do. Thanks, Brian, for stopping by. No problem. Telling us all about it. Thanks for what you do. You're making a vital difference in our lives. We appreciate pleasure. that. We're going to be right back with more Business Connection. Stay tuned.